the 2000s were wild. It didn't have to make sense or even be good to use. As long as it had a vibe, it would sell. Motorola and Nokia were going nuts at this point. How do you hang up angrily on someone with this? I'm never gonna hire you as a tradie anymore, mate, and get a dog up here. And speaking of pointless plastics from the thousands, we're talking about the iDog. I only know about this because you guys bring it up with me. I actually had no idea of the iDog. Apparently it was released in Japan by Sega and made booping noises. And then it was released in the West by Hasbro and Tiger Electronics. <laughs> they don't make garbage at all. And then they just completely sold out by releasing in every single color. They made a Papa version. They made a disembodied head version. And then they got as far to the point to it that just, it was just a pillow. They did nothing. Oh, a typical sequel, uh, the iCat. And then the untypical sequel of the iFish. <laughs> and of course, it just makes sense in the lineage. Turtle. They sold out to Hungry Jacks and just made like really whatever versions with like Hungry meals? What, like, what's a happy meal with, with the other side? So after doing this research, you know, I had to get one and I've looked after you, right? I got a brand new one in the box. And I, like, I have no idea about the iDog. We're going to experience this together. And it was at this point that I decided to check out KK Clue's video on the iDog. And that's when I learned that I have the worst one. Bork, bork, here it comes. Duh. The Spy dog! Not spy as in detective, but spy as in spider. To coincide with the Spider-Man 3 launch. Look at our papa, all decked out in corporate gear. Like, you know, Spider-Man, Spider-Dog. Like, they tried to be so clever that they weren't clever. Well, maybe they had 15 minutes to come up with a design because it was just a cash grab. Well, no, mate, the movie comes out in like 10 minutes and we haven't even started the design yet. So, apart from being an absolute corporate cash grab and the worst one of the spy dogs, we'll get to that, is participating in my least favorite thing, which is humongous stinking packaging. This thing is way smaller than I thought it was. I thought it was a little bit bigger than this. I know they made big ones and it's just mostly clear plastic. What looks like a spider? but rocks like a dog. Spy dog, TM, and asterisk just corporate all over this thing. <laughs> Why would that need an asterisk? So I can't even fit this stupid thing in here. Begging for the beat, or more likely, begging for the bin. Speaker for MP3 plays and more. Two, ah! batteries required, not included. Thanks, boys. What is this down here? Is this just a saucer or something? Music, lights, movement, the, the trifecta of entertainment, apparently. I was going to read this in a funny, condescending voice and, until literally it's the least catchiest thing I've ever ever read and I refuse to read it. So a big part of the original iDog in Japan was cashing in on like Tamagotchis and pets and things. So you meant to look after it and touch it and interact with it otherwise it gets mad and does a bad job at your taxes or something. I don't know, I'm just, I'm an adult now. All I can think of as adult scenarios. Oh, sorry about all the reflections, this thing is just so glossy. <laughs> Me, Spy Dog TM Asterix. Wh where's the asterisk? What's that about? There it is. Hey, it's just corporate corporate stuff. Feed this super pooch your music and listen to it play your tunes through a built-in speaker. Doesn't say if it's good or not, it just says it's got one. Plays music through its built-in speaker. Great. The original point of this thing, basically. Barks to let you know when it's hungry for more music. Goody. So when I'm thinking about listening to music, what do I want during that? That's right. Dogs barking! Take Spy Dog TM Asterix everywhere that music's playing and see what it'll do. I'm pretty sure it'll sit there and wiggle about. Communicates personality and moods through musical riffs. I, I, I don't know what that means. It blinks lights, it moves around, and Tiger Electronics, the mark of the beast. God, Spider-Man is like a separate company now. Like, it's out of control. Now, like, this packaging is a total collectible, mate. Like, I, I have full intention of being very, very careful to get this back in here just as I left it and then put it onto my my shelf to look after. Give me my dog. Oh wow, it's like Fort Knox in here, mate. Can't free the dog. All right, we'll get to the the doggo in a second. C no, <gasps> you dirty words I can't use. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I, I told myself that I that I wasn't gonna wonder at this thing, but I don't know. This is pushing all my buttons, man. I thought this was already an egregious waste of plastic and just storage space. The fact that this dog is in this big empty chamber and then that this would be full of stuff. Oh my god, man. There you go. Give me that. So, for this much waste, 
Let me show you what you get. Corporate logo laden dog, this cable, and this toilet paper. That's it. I get begging for the beat, mate. Begging for the bin. Stand over here. It's the most utilitarian aux cable I've ever seen. Ages eight and up. You know, seven year olds can't handle this amount of disappointment, right? That's why it's eight and up. Face with seven multicolor LED lights. That's the, that literally is the face of the eye dog. And it's like the thing they keep harking onto and the source of disappointment with this model that I've got. We'll get to that. Tail switch apparently, ooh, beware. When you flick his tail, he won't be happy. I've never heard of an R code and LR6. <laughs> Like, the engineering term for one of these. Just shove him into the side of your dog. <laughs> this is not the kind of cautions I've, I'm imagining for something that looks like this. Give corporate dog lots of attention. I will buy Spider-Man merch. I will watch the movies. Look, there, there's nothing wrong with this manual. It is 100% cromulent. It's nice thick paper. It's, it's laid out like... You know, apparently it changes color on your, your tunes and will react to being <laughs> plugged into that disc, man. Or it can just listen to music and dance around. Static, excited. Here's the Tamagotchi part of it trying to kick in. And look how much of this is to do with those lights and again, why this model is very disappointing. Oh, important tips. Oh, I need these. To quiet eye dog down. Oh, I figured it would get annoying. Tap its tail switch and it'll give you five minutes of peace and quiet. It'll get angry when you do this. <laughs> In other words, to make it quiet, literally do something it hates. It knows when it's in a dark room. That's interesting. And it may react to other sounds. Well, I mean, of course, I'm guessing its microphone is not that sophisticated. 2005 Sega Toys. Here it is. Um, it's got a good amount of weight to it in a nice way. It doesn't feel like absolute crap. Right, that's where the, the aux goes in. Goes in the side like a real dog. I like how the ears are translucent. There's the mad switch. Oh, do I actually have to use, oh, I have to get the dad tools out. Dads can do this bit. I know the screws to stop kids from eating the batteries, but like, you know, I mean, they look pretty tasty, but you know, I think I can resist for this video. All right, I give it up. Come on. Oh, give it up. Give it. Give it. Oh, thank you. It's like a real dog. This leg's made out of crap. <laughs> the body part isn't that nice. Oh! Oh, he's turned on! Oh, I need to do up the screw! Um... Hello? Ah! It literally growled at me. So, you just wave over its... Over this sensor? I know it's a toy for really, really young kids, but I, I really am kind of reaching the, <laughs> reaching the maximum that this thing kind of does. Now, we're talking about how the fa sh stop it, right? You're worse than Frank. You know, it's the face on this. Hang on, we got to turn some light. So we've got the face on this guy, and basically the, the cheap, tacky Spider-Man corporate sellout costume that it's wearing. Notice that the eyes block the light. So, so basically, those LEDs don't shine properly. <laughs> and that's why, this is the worst one. So it's not like they were being clever and they thought, hey, you know, Spider-Man's got these eyes on it. We're putting eyes on the dog. Let's put the LEDs in there and do something special. No, no, no. They just took a standard eye dog and then just put cheap Spider-Man on it. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, it's lost a lot of its personality. So this thing's meant to be a speaker, first and foremost. <laughs> so go on, let's, let's plug this thing in. I do have the Diablo here. So let, let's just plug this in. And, you know, we won't have the crazy volumes yet. Dance to it. <laughs> Why isn't it dancing? It's not dancing. Well, just to sell how crap this thing sounds. Power on. Bluetooth mode. Don't you don't you bark at her. Don't. This here is a relatively cheap speaker that came free with a phone of mine two and a bit years ago and I only keep it around because it's got that hilariously sexy voice in it. So in terms of hi-fi, this thing ain't. I've already done like Bluetooth speakers and this, don't shut up. How much better is this than this? I know it's meant to be a toy, but it's advertised as like a speaker first and foremost. It's meant to be that, yeah, you listen to music through it. It sounds horrible. It's like I'm on weight with Centrelink or something. I can see why people like these. In like the, the classic white color where like the face isn't obscured by the corporate logo. I know there are people who really, really like this and boy am I tempted to give this the one grit just because of how much plastic waste it involves. And it literally, it just comes with nothing. But I know that'll upset a lot of you, but I'll meet you halfway by trying to blow up the speaker with the Diablo. 
Oh boy, that got noisy, like a real dog. And it's warm. <laughs> oh well. Oh, that's such a sticky, crappy aux cable. Hang on, let's, let's just turn this stupid thing off. Right, go away. Go away. Go, go to sleep. Go to sleep, but not that kind of sleep. In its day, like a fun little toy, and they just rode this thing as hard as they could, straight into the ground, just make all your money in one go, and then just bury the brand. <laughs> it will live on a shelf somewhere. It is kind of endearing, and it's also a bit crap at the same time. Maybe if I get one of the proper eye dogs, we can give this to one grid or something. Oh, but the biggest companies make the worst crap, don't they? Mm. Well, that's it. So huge thanks for watching. Big thanks to my patrons, especially to each stinky name right here, because my $1 a month I do extra videos. And speaking of toys from the thousands, this is pretty special. So I actually haven't had, had a look in this yet. I saw it on eBay. And I just saw what it was and I had to have it because this is a Toys R Us catalog from Christmas 2001. Oh, what released that year? Oh, just Xbox and there's like PS2, Dreamcast was in there, Game Boy Advance. Like, 01 was an insane time for electronics and just games and things. So we're going to have a look at through this baby right here, mate. But anyways, I'll uh, see you all next time. That idiot shows her face, I swear, mate. If that idiot shows her face, I swear, mate. If that idiot shows her face, I swear, mate. I see you in there, Franklin. <laughs>